Seriously? We're talking about sex on video? Maybe we shouldn't. Um, no, let's. Well, wh why should we talk about sex on video? I here? think I think we need to because if we can't talk about sex, then how are we to expect other people to have conversations about sex? Okay, so what's on your mind about sex? I think sex is like elections. You need lots of votes. It's political. Sometimes it requires lots of hearings to figure it out. You need to make sure there's no cheating. Okay, I hear that. To figure out who's the winner. Yeah, I know. I, I hear that. And you know, one of the things that bothers me a lot is I, I hear people saying that, uh, you know, their 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 mentors are telling them that, you know, don't expect married sex to be like in the movies. And you know, that really bothers me because why would you tell somebody? that married sex is not going to be like in the movies. Hey, isn't it like in the movies? It could be like in the movies, and that's really terrible. I mean, if someone's told that married sex is not going to be like in the movies, then why would they want to stick around? Just go find a place where you can have sex like in the movies. He said, here's the real truth. We're going to, the foremen are going to tell you the truth. The truth is that just like in a movie, you have to compress a whole lifetime into, a, into two hours. And in a movie, you know, you're not going to show when the person is brushing their teeth uh, because that's boring. And in a movie, you're not going to show all the boring things that detectives are doing. You're going to show that 10-minute epic car chase or shootout when that happens maybe, you know, once in a lifetime of a, of, of a police officer. So, of course, you're going to have sex like there's sex in the movies. Absolutely. And you should try to have sex like sex in the movies. It just doesn't mean you're going to have that every time. And it also means that a lot of basic ground ground uh, breaking kind of work needs to be done in order to have sex like sex in the movies. But absolutely. Well, you, you know, say? there are what I say is that there are things that hold people back from talking about sex. Yes. One of those reasons is that they think that the other person is supposed to read their mind and know exactly what they want and what they don't want and what feels good and what doesn't. Mm. And honestly, that's not realistic. Sure, and, and people also, they, they, they don't necessarily feel comfortable getting. They, they don't feel comfortable having somebody else give to them. And in order to be able to have a good time sexually, you do need to be able to allow somebody else to make you feel good and to be able to talk about what makes you feel good. And even though that can be a little embarrassing, whatever you want, whatever feels good for you, um, you won't get it if you don't ask for it. Yeah, there's another reason why people don't talk about sex is that they're afraid they're going to ruin the mood. But it's better to ruin the mood and stop and communicate what feels good, what doesn't feel good, what do you want, what do you not want. Mess up the mood and then recreate it. Right, because sometimes even the stupidest thing, whether it's a noise or or it's you're worried about somebody that texted you or whatever the crazy thing is, if you can't get it off your mind, if you don't deal with it, it's going to totally mess everything up. And sometimes you just have to say, wait a second, something's not making me comfortable. And that's true. That you're not going to see in the movies. I mean, they don't waste time in movies for someone to you know, put their phone on silent. But that's really important. You have to deal with that in real life if you want to be able to relax and have a good time. Yeah. So what's a four-letter word that ends with K and means intercourse? Talk. Talk.